physical and chemical changes. Look at these leaves. The first leaf is fresh and green while the other is dry and brown. Can we make the dry leaf fresh again? Well, we cannot do so and that is because the leaves have undergone a chemical change that cannot be reversed. All the changes that take place in our surroundings are either physical or chemical changes. Let us learn more about these changes. When water is frozen, it forms ice. However, ice and water are made up of the same type of substance, that is, water molecules. This means that freezing just changed the physical form of water from liquid to solid, but the molecules inside remain the same. Such a change, where only the physical properties of the substance change and no new substance is formed, is called a physical change. The formation of ice can be easily reversed by heating the ice to form water. Most physical changes can be reversed. Melting of an ice cream, chopping of wood, bending of a wire, breaking of a glass and breaking of a pencil are physical changes. Now look at this log of wood. Even after being cut from the tree, the wood remained same. But what happens when this log of wood is set to fire? Upon burning, the wood changes into ash. Ash is a new substance which has different chemical properties than wood and it cannot be changed back into wood again. Such a change where the chemical properties of the substance change and a new substance is formed is called a chemical change. Chemical changes are mostly irreversible. Burning of paper, rusting of iron, cooking of rice, curdling of milk and ripening of fruits are chemical changes. So now you know all about physical and chemical changes.